About 61,000 partial hand amputations happen in the U.S. every year, leaving victims with heavily compromised dexterity. And yet, despite heavy research in the area and many companies offering solutions for both arms and legs, there are few options that restore dexterity for these partial hand amputees, especially for those missing their thumb. This issue is brought to light when our lab was contacted by the Heiriger family, asking for help with developing a prosthetic for Peyton, a partial hand amputee who could not find a prosthetic that worked for her specific injury. This innovative solution brought to fruition by Andy Strauss, Mia Buckowich, and principal contributor Brian Fay creates an affordable, comfortable, and general option for partial hand amputees. Peyton's amputation occurred at the metacarpal phalangeal bone on both the index finger and the thumb. The thumb was left with a small amount of residual bone that provided her with a significant amount of movement. As a result of this movement, Peyton was able to control the thumb with two flexible liquid metal sensors. These two sensors were attached to an adjustable thumb harness that clamps firmly onto her metacarpal. She can actuate the thumb by moving her residual bones side to side, deforming each of the sensors. The demonstration of this technology will hopefully spark greater communication between prosthetists and surgeons who typically attempt to make a clean amputation by removing bone fragments like these. The electrical system shown here drives a solenoid that locks the thumb position. With this design, we were able to use a small motor and still resist large forces in the thumb. All of the electrical components are stored in an external wrist module, which contains a rechargeable and removable battery. The development of a general interface utilized the hand's natural geometry and a patent-pending variable compression harness that adjusts its tightness according to the loads applied during use. Using a bladder system, our harness dynamically changes compression when smaller bladders in the index finger are compressed. The index finger itself is a novel 2 degree of freedom passively actuated design. Using a spring steel pusher attached to a linear slider, we are able to move the MCP joint of the prosthetic in conjunction with her middle finger. For the second degree of freedom, we use a custom Bowden cable to allow us to jump over her MCP joint and transfer motion from her middle finger's PIP to the PIP of the device. Here Peyton demonstrates her ability to complete a key grip. She was able to produce a consistent pinching force between the two actuated fingers of 6 pounds of force. While this is below the number we had set in our goals, it's a proof of concept for the design, and the goal of 3 pounds can be achieved by altering the position of the thumb and adding grippy material to the finger pads. Despite the low pinching grip, we were still able to restore many of Peyton's fine motor skills, which are demonstrated here. The findings we've gained from this iteration of the device prove that more dexterous partial hand prosthetics are possible for amputees.